Uh, welcome everyone to this Privacy Rules, Privacy Espresso. My name is Alessandro Mattia, Legal and Executive Officer at Privacy Rules. And today I'm joined by uh, Yuda Triarianto from uh, uh, the Indonesian law firm, uh, uh, CIP Law Firm, of course. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm really thankful for having him with us today because we are going to discuss a bit of, uh, of uh, the situation in, in Indonesia and in particular why companies need to be data privacy compliant, even in countries where there is not yet a regulation in place or where a regulation is, uh, uh, is coming. So Yuda, thanks a lot for being with us today. Um, I'll uh, turn it over to, to you um, in presenting this to us and I will also share some slides that Yudra kindly prepared for us for, uh, for today. Okay, thank you, Alessandro. Uh, thank you for uh, the opening. And uh, hello, Privacy Rules, and hello to everyone who joined us today. Uh, glad to see you in uh, Privacy Espresso. Uh, I'm very excited today because uh, I'm going to present uh, the reasons why companies should be aware or should be very concerned about personal data protection even if they are in country that doesn't have or has not implemented data protection law. But before that, uh, I would like to give a small brief about uh, the issue of enactment uh, PDPA in Indonesia. Yeah. In fact, Indonesia uh, already has regulations uh, related to the protection of personal data. But uh, this regulation uh, spread to various kinds of regulation. Yeah, uh, we can see on the slide, uh, there are three regulations. Uh, those are specifically related to electronic system. But uh, the maximum sanction yeah, based on these regulations uh, only in terms of uh, an administrative sanction. Yeah? So there is no criminal sanctions, yeah, like sentence in prison or uh, huge fines. Yeah? And the types of administrative, administrative sanctions, uh, such as uh, temporary suspension of activities, uh, termination of access, and also removal from the list. Yeah. Yeah, even we can say that this sanction will bring big impact for the company, but still yeah, not enough for personal data protection. So currently in Indonesia, uh, we, we want to make a one man personal data protection act here yeah, because uh, the uh, criminal sanction only can be applied there yeah, by PDP act. Yeah. So uh, the plan, the plan to uh, ratify the PDB bill, yeah, uh, was again delayed yeah, after our legislative body uh, session and in July 2021. But I think uh, it's it's going to be a good opportunity yeah, that must be used by uh, companies or business entities in Indonesia yeah, to immediately prepare uh, to implement personal data protection in their system, yeah, including. Uh, providing good understanding uh, for their uh, staff or for their organization. The PDB bill has been issued, yeah, they will be ready. Uh, and yeah, I think that that is the first reason yeah, why companies should uh, concern about the pro data protection. Yeah. So uh, no matter when, yeah, uh, if a privacy regulation will come into force in every country, so the companies should do it now and better is preparing to comply with it because uh, this is a trend that we cannot stop. Yeah. And then uh, the second reason, yeah, uh, because uh, nowadays, yeah, uh, the technology is growing fast and has crossed national borders. Even companies in Indonesia uh, can provide their services abroad, yeah, such as to several countries in Europe, or even people in Europe using mobile apps that come from Indonesia, they must be aware yeah, about the EU GDPR, yeah, which provisions apply extraterritorially. Yeah. Companies uh, need to comply with other regulations as many privacy laws uh, implement extraterritorial applicability yeah, in third countries. But the good news is that there are many shared principles. So starting complying with one regulation will ease uh, your compliance with others. And also, yeah, by uh, complying with the international standards of PDP, uh, the companies may have added value yeah, and gain trust by its users. And of course, it will be profitable in the long run for the companies. And uh, if I may inform you some issues yeah, of privacy compliance in Indonesia, or even in several countries around the world, yeah, are, related, are related to this question. Uh, how if the data processor 
our data control is located overseas and how if the data storage location is overseas. The answers can only refer to applicable law where the services is provided. So if the electronic system provider uh, located in Europe, but the services provided in California, so the company needs to apply with the CCPA or uh, California Consumer Privacy Act. Of course, yeah, it will bring obligations to have better data security system if companies want to expand their business offices. Uh, privacy compliance, yeah, we, we uh, understand yeah, privacy compliance is uh, not an easy task yeah, as data management can be very complicated if not structured properly from the start. So uh, they must understand yeah, the, the main principle yeah, of data protection mechanism is the concern, if the concern of the data owner. Yeah, start from collection of data, processing, storage, all needs concern from the data owner. So uh, this is the basic rule and very important. Uh, but uh, the company, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, data abuse yeah, is still happening lately, yeah, mostly for marketing purposes. The companies must realize yeah, it will bring loss of trust to the companies and also uh, risk to bring uh, lawsuits to the company. So uh, we have to remain again that personal data protection can be applicable overseas, yeah, such as GDPR. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, GDPR has extra, extra territorial legal, effect, legal effects. Yeah. And in conclusion, yeah, even though the companies uh, were located in countries that don't have a PDPA, yeah, Compliance with data privacy must still be carried out because this is already regulated in many countries around the world. Some even say that uh, it will be expensive or compliance is expensive, but then try not to comply, please. You, you, will, you will spend more if uh, your company hasn't ready when it comes. You, you, may, you maybe can spend three or five times more if your company violates the data protection rules it can be uh, it can bring big loss yeah, for the company and even lose the public trust uh, for ignoring the PDP compliance. So uh, uh, at the end of my word, yeah, don't do it at the last minute. The sooner you start, the better for your company. Perfect, Yuda. Thank you very much for uh, for this brief uh, introductory um, explanation of this very relevant topic, and and of course uh, uh, nothing to add to what you just said and to uh, to your very useful um, um, and practical uh, advice. Uh, that is to be you know get prepared, be prepared because you know privacy regulation are coming. Privacy regulation yeah. is coming in 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 Indonesia. And, and even if, uh, you know, there is time, still time to wait uh, uh, for a specific regulation in your country, there are still regulations out there that probably you have to comply with already. So, right. you know, look, look around uh, and, and, of course, ask for the service of a privacy expert as, as Yuda and the team of uh, CIP Law that can support you. Also, thanks for today's participation in the Privacy Rules Alliance with experts located, you know, all over the world. So that's exactly why um, we exist and, and Yuda is here with us. So thanks a lot, Yuda, again for... Uh, thanks for, a lot, Alessandro. And it, it was a pleasure. And thanks to our followers for, for being with us uh, uh, today. We run out of our time. So uh, thanks again and looking forward okay. to meeting you all next week. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Alessandro. Thank you, Privacy Rules. Thank you very much, Yuda and CIP. Bye.